Hey, this is the best of our Patreon exclusive podcast. There are currently almost 50 episodes up that are only on Patreon. And here's a little best of minus the really naughty stuff that we just can't put on YouTube. Hope you love it. If you want more of it, you can subscribe on our Patreon right now. Check out all the links in the description and enjoy the compilation. Like Me it. and Ruben are very close friends. How often do you speak outside of him being on the show? All the time. In fact, if I were to call him right now, we could have an easy, casual conversation about nothing, and I'll prove it. Okay. <laughs> this is how good friends Ruben and I are up to. I can call him at any moment and just ask him how he's doing, and we'll immediately just gel and fall into a nice, easy conversation. Okay. And I can prove that. That's how good friends we are. Looking forward to this. <clears throat> he may not pick up. Yes, he would. Friends answer. Hello? Hey, man. Hi. What's up? <laughs> what is this sting operation? What do you mean? I'm just calling my mate. <laughs> okay, what's up? <laughs> Nothing much, man. Just call and see how you well, are. I can hear Keel and laugh. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, I can't just catch up with a friend? Yeah, of course you can catch up with a friend. You want to catch up? Oh, yeah, yeah. What are you up to? Oh, uh, nothing. Just uh, doing some work. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Cool. You're going to ask, ask me a question? Super easy. <laughs> the chemistry is crazy. Uh, um, yeah, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just, I am just, uh, just thought I'd give you a call, you know, have a little chat. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, so how's work? Yeah, good. How's, how's <laughs> yeah. work? Yeah, I'm, mine's good. Are you, uh, you haven't been filming anything at the moment, perhaps? Uh... Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, man, so so good to catch up. I'll talk to you yeah. soon. <laughs> yeah, great to catch up, man. I'll yeah. speak to you again soon. All right, All right. love you too. Bye. Hey, uh, is Luke around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why, why is that? Um, probably no, speak no, to his no, actual no, friend. Call later, actually. Sorry, oh, Ruben, did you want to speak to your actual friend there? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, fuck you then. <laughs> I don't think you guys should ever hang out again. <laughs> that was easy. That was casual. That was free flowing. <clears throat> that was super easy to listen to. Yeah. You could just hear the chemistry oozing out of the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was great. Yeah. Two, two best buddies two best catching friends. up. Yeah. Isla and Keelan, right, have just been bickering all day. There they are on the little uh, lower third. No, no, um, we're at full screen because I, I don't know how to do. Uh, you guys job. Are you gotta do your job. That's right. No, every other episode I do it actually. <laughs> okay. This is um, actually a better look for the show. Anyway. Yeah, it's uh, having the yeah. Anyway, right. So there's a fitness challenge going on, and uh, <laughs> sounds like uh, that <laughs> Keelan is demolishing Tyler. Tyler's very upset about it. Explain what happened. Okay. Last week, I get a notification on my Apple Watch that says yep. Keelan wants to share his fitness data with you. Okay. And I'm That's thinking to myself, threat. well, you know. Killen's a handsome man. Yeah. He's in shape for sure. Yeah. But I'm thinking, uh, he hasn't, he, he, he'd mentioned to me that he was looking to get back into going to the gym. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm a pretty frequent gym visitor as of late. Yeah. And I thought, well, he wants to share his fitness out with me. I'm confident that I'll easily yeah. be, be a role model for him to look up to, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I accept, and I can see his fitness stats. I'm thinking, wow, he's had a good day today. What a good boy. Then yeah. I get another notification. Keelan has challenged you to a week-long fitness workout. And I thought, okay. mm -hmm. silly boy, what a fool. Because how often are you working out, Tyler? Like I said, every day. Every day. Every yeah. day. And what I'm doing is I'm doing my strength training, which could yeah. be chest or arms. Depends on the day. And then I follow it no up legs. with... No, I do legs. Thank you. Okay, you get right. around to it. Tyler would... I know what you're leading to. Yeah. And if someone's observed you both, yeah. Tyler would fuck on you. I would fuck so, on Lewis. So well, that would be so watch your, All I'm saying is watch yourself. <laughs> huh? Okay. As soon as I grow my toenail back... It's on. 100%. There's always something, isn't there? Oh, as soon as I... Bro, do you want to see it? It's so fucked. In 2029, when you actually hit your final form and it's yeah. over for everyone... I'll be too old. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'll be like, man, but back in the day, if I had, yeah. if I had all of if this I shit If I had been in my prime, yeah. it would have been over for you. Oh, mm. I don't know, man. I don't Look, so, but, so... Oh, so, so what happens? So, yeah. So, I do, you know, a, a workout for half an hour, 45, and then I do like 45 minutes of cardio okay, afterwards yeah, every cool. day, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After the first two days, Keelan's stats mm. are the equivalent of a freaking professional athlete, and I have no idea how he does it. Yeah. Because he's, this man, he's, every 45 minutes I'm getting a notification, Keelan's finished a workout. 
and there's these hilarious yeah. like automated replies you can do to respond <laughs> and like I'll send like haha great or something and then I'll finish work and he'll be like awkward <laughs> <laughs> or he'll be like, he'll be like, good job, and it's the most fucking yeah. backhanded bullshit yeah. <laughs> because he's fucking cleaning house, and it's right. based off percentage as well. So my goal is like a thousand calories a day. Keelan's up these to eight hundred. I'll change mine to uh, thousand. Oh, no, so no, no, it's no, not no, fair. No, 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 don't change it. All I'm saying is, regardless of how fucking much difference calories there are, this man's got like a hundred and eighty percent of his goal every day. <laughs> I don't know how right. he does it. So all in all, I'm betting Tyler, and I'm a fuck. I'm Cadell Evans. How was your form though? I don't ride. know. They're shitty electric man, my bikes. Riding tiny. Coach, fucking hell, man. He was saying to me like, I would never fucking coach him. I would never. Like, he thinks he's Cadell Evans on his close friends. It's, no, he's it, not. He's just going down to the shops. <laughs> <laughs> it is very embarrassing riding these neuron bikes all around Frankston, but they're so good. Is it? Is it like a? It's like a normal bike. Is it? Wouldn't it like be really heavy? Because it's, yeah, it's so that it's pedal assist, but. Oh, pedal assist! That's what I said. Liar! I said liar! Liar! Pedal assist! I said it's the electric one. Delete all those words. No, that doesn't count. (laughs) Pedal assist! You fucked up. You should have said that. I will stand by it. (laughs) That's wrong. I told told all those points off. I told both of you. Oh, I did a ten-kilometer run on a travelator the other day. Oh. I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, why are they electric bikes if they're just normal? What are they, what's the electricity for? Just fucking. Well, like Neil Armstrong. <laughs> this guy's a cheater. That's like no. Setting, no. setting a fucking treadmill to downhill, mate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you know how hilly Frankston is? No, no. I'm uphill. I'm up. uphill. Also, That's it. gears also, exist, dude. Get on I, your mountain I, I, bike look, and look, feel listen, the burn. Listen, Keelan needs it, man. He's about to cost three days of <laughs> me fucking ruining you. This is only fair, right? <laughs> no, you do. It you is. Up. It is a max of twenty kilometers per hour on oh, these bikes. Man, and I'm going 30, 33 all the time. No, bro, just hey, give Tyler, up. are you at the gym getting weight assist? Are you, oh, are you yeah, getting no, someone to lift sorry, those? Not to mention that the guy who runs the club manager comes over and I lay under it and he just lifts it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I actually don't touch the bar at all. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a bike tonight. All right. <laughs> This is bullshit. This is slander. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to buy the bike and be like, oh, fuck, bro, this is hard. <laughs> he's not going to use it at all. Oh, oh, i got a pedal? This sucks. <laughs> I have a story that I'm reluctant to tell. Great. Because of the location mm-hmm. in which it's the story mm. happens. I wonder where this story could take place. Yes. Mm. Mm. So, and I want to blame, I want to throw... I'm partly responsible okay. for this happening again, mm-hmm. but I would lo- want to throw Keelan's hat in the ring as a huge contributor and yep. actually probably almost the sole reason as to why it happened. Okay. Yeah. And right. are you happy to agree with that? Yeah, for sure. It was, it was my idea. Yeah, great. Right. Well, that's now I'm no longer that too reluctant to tell it. Okay. Keelan and I made a, a pretty bad decision at about 1 a.m. the other night. Right. Um, on eight. Yeah. <laughs> Me, Luke, Meg, and Phoebe. Oh, great. So just... Right. Dove other people in. And Just also, a double date. Well, you met Tyler was... <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, we ended up... They're pretty grim establishment. Now, mm-hmm. there's one... I'm not going to name names, but there's one place... Candy. No, no, no. no not individual names. Right. Okay. I mean, n- names of establishment. Right. <laughs> Can- she was Mercedes. Lovely. Yeah, Candy was lovely, though. Yeah, okay. Um, Deluxe. But... but <laughs> But uh, actually, uh, Cleopatra, though. Cleopatra. Bitch. (laughs) We were out and about. Uh, Honestly, it's the idea spiked because we're at this busy nightclub. It took 30 minutes to queue up for the bar to get a drink. And I was Mm. like, this sucks. And I was like, where do you get a drink around here at 1 a.m.? Keelan and I kind of just wanted beers. Yeah. And uh, Keelan brought up the idea. I kind of just wanted to keep the night going. Yeah. I was like, all right, sure. Anyway, we get in there. Very, as soon as we got in there, we're like, this is a bad decision. Yes. It's regrettable. It's busy. It's a Saturday night. So, which kind of the best time to actually go there and just, just, just to hang out. Cause you don't get bothered. Yeah. They're, they're, they're also busy with all the other guys in there that you kind of can just sit in the corner and no, I think only one person came up to us mm. to, to try and get a lap dance or whatever. So we're kind of just hanging out. I went to the toilet. Uh, look, there's two venues mm-hmm. that are often near each other. I'm not going to say the names, but one of them, a little more popular th- than the other. Yeah. We were planning to go to the more popular one. We yeah. got there, bit of a line. Yeah. 
we couldn't be bothered to wait any longer because yeah. of all the waiting that we just done. You thought, fuck that, let's go see the roadkill. Yeah. And you you joke, but God, there's a reason why the other place had a line. Yeah. Right? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, no, look. And that's the stuff you pay for, guys. Because I would never say that on the on YouTube. So I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> probably have that yeah. already. Jay, just had me thinking. When you describe Luke like being the best time to go to the strippers is one AM when it's popular because you don't get approached. What who goes to the strippers and is like, it. I'm at the strippers, I hope no strippers talk to me. No, no, we were there to like drink. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause we, cause we just couldn't get a beer at this bar. Yeah. We walked past another place. It was closed. We're like, dude, every, since COVID, mate, there's a lot of staffing issues. You know, the only place that doesn't have a staffing issue. Yeah, true. yeah. If you went to King Alcoholics Street. Anonymous and told that's like the reason why I was in a strip club was to ignore the strippers and drink beer. <laughs> I reckon the guy that like T-boned a family of four would go, oof, that's bad. <laughs> I thought I had a problem. I'm good. I'm gonna leave. Actually, I'm I'm fine. Yeah. But and what is worse is like a I'm, you know our, my, our employee right. also hey, our hey, friend. Hang on. Wasn't it not an employee on a Saturday night. No, you weren't. He, he wasn't, wasn't working. He wasn't for us. working. We we're just well, hanging and out. Meg's HR. So the HR department was there. She was. Did there. you clear it by her? Oh yeah, she was very keen. It was, it was actually just just four friends hanging out, catching up. Yeah. Because we haven't been able to catch up for a few months. Actually, yeah. was that. Yeah, there was a little bit of like that. That's the way the conversation goes. Is like Phoebe and Meg were talking a lot, and Meg. Kill and I were kind of catching up. Meg. It's one of those things though where you, you are catching up, but yeah. you get distracted because mm. of what's in the room. Rest. Uh yeah, <laughs> literally, Kill and like is a child. We'll be talking about the show or like something serious, Boobie. and then he literally goes, "Oh, a naked girl." Yeah, <laughs> and he'll say it out loud, and then the girl will turn around, and he'll be like, oh. <laughs> "Very it? good." Um, <laughs> at this club. They get fully naked. They show you their pussy without you having to pay for it. <laughs> so it is. Is that not the norm? That's not normal. Because we hang out at this one. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, like Americans think that's so crazy. In America, they have real interesting laws about their strip clubs. You can have either alcohol or full nudity. You can't have both. What? Oh. So clubs, uh, so you can get your titties out and serve beers, but no pussy. Really? Yeah. It's a really weird law. I think to discourage full naked strip clubs because they cripple them by not letting them sell alcohol. But right. it is very interesting. That's why you always see rappers post them at the strip club on Instagram because there's no nudity in those clips because they're at the ones with the, with the alcohol. Because oh, right. I always used to wonder, I'm like, why can they post like stories on, in the strip club? <laughs> why can they film? It's because none of the girls are naked. Yeah, right. The guy was announcing... The guy was announcing... Like, all right, next up to the stage, just the creepiest voice. I can't even describe it. Do you remember, Kellen? It was like, oh, that was like Cleopatra. <laughs> uh, next to the stage, we have Angelica. Give it up for her. And Dude, I'm really, Angelica. really hating these names. And it was... And Too Kim, many syllables. I was like, Kellen looked at me. Kellen looked at the guy, looked at me, and I just went, Ugh. like I shivered. It made yeah. me so uncomfortable. I was like, dude, why the fuck are we here? We left within an hour. Yeah. Right. But just before I left, uh, went to the toilet. Mm. And again, this place is not the place with the line. So mm. it's maybe a lesser establishment. Yeah. A bit more relaxed, as mm. Kellen said. Pretty relaxed about their rules. Uh, I go into the toilet, hear two guys talking in the cubicle quite mm. loudly. Yeah. Now, whenever there's two guys talking in the cubicle quite loudly, they're not pissing, mm. right? Um, so I, was, I started paying. Uh, security guards slash cleaner. The guards, <laughs> the security guards Great. walk around with brooms. I'm not sure why, but the, he was in a little vest, right? Yeah. And uh, comes in. They've left the door open. The, he's a security. He's got the thing in. It says security on his top. He's also just quickly sweeping the toilets. Um, walks in, flings the door open to two guys on their knees, snorting drugs, right? Mm. Security hey, guard, I, and I was pissing. I was like, oh, shit, these guys are going to get kicked out. Security guard, oh, my God, boys, I'm so, so sorry. I'll leave <laughs> you to it. I'm so sorry, right? Walks out, closes the door for them. They go, no, nah, that's all good, brother. I appreciate it. They finish what they wow. need to do. 
they knock some of the stuff on the floor, right? Mm. There's, some, there's some powder on the floor. Mm. And they go, oh, fuck, man. They start yelling at each other. You fucking dropped it, blah, blah, blah. And they just go, fuck it. Let's just go. And the guy comes in. He's waiting outside. I'm peeing. And I just watch the security guard just like twiddling his Waiting thumbs. outside to kick them out? Nope. Just waiting for them to be done. Then comes back in. He goes, all right, good, good boys. Have a good night. Walks in, sweeps up the coke. Just <laughs> for them. And then leaves. And I was like watching the whole thing. I That's was just incredible. Like, what service? What? Yeah. I was like, wow. What a what an establishment. What a place to be. I walked back to uh, Meg, uh, mm. Keelan and Phoebe. And I go, we're getting the fuck out of here. Mm. And we left. Pretty bad. I'm with you on the UK because I'm just already thinking of the fucking character voices we'd get out of that. But oh, we go to the UK <laughs> and we get back and we're like... Fucking went to the bar, in it? Yeah, fucking, we fucking have a few shabs. Yeah, and, and then we headed to Liverpool with the boys. <laughs> oh, we get the Beatles voices. Yes, someone, Character unlocked. Someone wants yes. to get back on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen up, Paul. You know, I, was, I was thinking, John, you know, the biggest enemy in the world is, you know, sort of cancel culture. <laughs> well, shut the fuck up, Paul. Just write a good track. <laughs> um, do you do any impressions? No. <laughs> Why not? I, no, no. I used to be able to do Kermit the Frog really well. Oh, what? let it rip. Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> what the fuck? That, that was, was so perfect. Much. That was awesome. <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever heard. All right, all right. We're gonna do, all right here's a, wait, Luke, can you do any characters? Uh, I used to do a pretty good Sid the Sloth. Do it. All right, all right, all right. Ready for this? So... This, this is the setting. Paul McCartney and John Lennon are working on a track in the studio <laughs> and they've just noticed that Kevin the Frog and what was your impression? Sid the Sloth. Oh, Sid the Sloth are recording a track next door. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's Paul? <laughs> You're Paul. You do the... <clears throat> I like that you asked who's Paul as if that would even change your voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it it's would. Like, you would just go like, all right, mate. <laughs> No, Paul and John are very different. Yeah. They are very yeah, different. No. Paul, Paul's sort of like this, and he's sort of a bit mellow, you know, but John is a bit more nasal. Mm, John, like John, John really boy. talks from the nose. And I said, Paul, why'd you stick your finger up me bum? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, Paul, good. Good. John, I didn't actually mean to do that, man. He's got the, phys- the physical movements as well. Really good. All right, all right, so into the bit, right? Yeah. So where's Sid the Sloth in the scenario? Oh, Next wait. door. I I'll set it up for you guys. You I ready? should be very clear. I can only say Kermit the Frog. I know, but God. <laughs> hey, listen, but mate, boys. When that hits in the sketch. <laughs> <so> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, boys, there's no, there's no script here. There's no script. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. You, you'll know you're cute. Yeah. <laughs> Keelan, you just say whatever you're comfortable with at any point, all right? Yeah, cool. All right. And <clears> I may <throat> have also really oversold how uh, recently I've done this impression. That's even better. <laughs> even better. Me too. Hi. Hi guys, welcome to our level one improv show. Welcome to the fucking <laughs> studio with the lads. <laughs> Episode one, here we go. Scene and action. <laughs> Hello, Paul. I've been up all night smoking LSD. Oh, I'm so fucked. I've just remembered you can't smoke LSD. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what, Paul? You know, I was, uh, it's actually quite surprising that you did LSD last night. I thought you were fucking beating the shit out of Yoko. <laughs> Paul, you got, I very well could have put Paul. Where's where's your bass? We got to play that new song. Wait, what's that noise coming from next door, Paul? I don't know, sir. I think some of the lads are next door, but I actually didn't get a chance to scoop the new talent. Paul, <laughs> listen, they're trying to record with the Beatles. There's only one thing we can do. We have to go and investigate. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, well, we're going across the... Oh, oh, this is where we did our album shoot, wasn't it? Oh, across the road. Too true, Paul. Too true. Let, let's, uh, who's going in here? Excuse me. It's Paul and John here. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is the... Uh, Paul, 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 why is there an anthropomorphic frog and sloth in this room? Hey, Paul, I'll tell you what. I'll t- talk about what, what songs you're tracking. Uh, Excuse me, boys. We've been cutting a song called uh, A Day in the Life in the other room and you're making a bit of noise. Well, could be Frank here. It's not easy being a shitty sloth and that is not tracking. If you see a leaf, you see a tree, that's tracking. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst impression I've ever heard. That was the <laughs> Glasses are going back on. 
I don't even remember oh. what Sid the Sloth sounds like. Oh, God. <laughs> and scene. So here's the scene. So Bradley Cooper's character in A Star Is Born. He's it's at the it's at the uh, penultimate point in the film, towards the end of the film, where he's about to kill himself. Spoilers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and Lady Gaga's gone off to the awards ceremony by, on her lonesome. He's right. The only person that can talk him down. Yeah. Yes, and propel him. He runs scene initiating and go. <clears throat> Bradley. <laughs> I see you've seen my apprentice. Well, yes, so your apprentice gonna be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'll tell, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. In context of this film, my name is not actually Bradley. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually Jackson, Jackson Maine. And uh, they want to fucking, I fuck, fucking love your nose. <laughs> <laughs> what news? They want to fucking. <laughs> My apprentice, uh, introduce yourself <laughs> to our accomplice. Hey, what's he? What's he little green motherfucker doing? From the factor. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Can't, that's amazing. We are starting a new Sith Academy on Sesame Street. <laughs> He wasn't a part of the scene. Yeah, he's a Muppet, bro. He's a Muppet. Wrong Puppet. I tell you what, I tell you what, man. You got the wrong network TV show on that one. I tell you what, right now. Now. (laughs) Mr. Cooper. Wait, now I sound like more, um. Again, motherfucker. (laughs) I I am not Bradley Cooper. So fast forward the scene on to when he's about to kill himself. So, okay. So now Bradley Cooper's character, Jackson Maine in A Star Is Born, is at the penultimate point in the film where he's about to commit suicide. And can we also add in at the end of the, at the end of the scene, you guys have to exit, exit the scene. Okay. And you'll know what I'm about to do when they're, when they're exiting. Okay. So you guys will have to exit the scene, but basically what's going to happen here is Palpatine's taking quite a liking to Jackson Maine and he's trying to talk him out of killing himself and Kermit's there um, and Kermit, can, anyway, yeah. yeah. And Kermit's got a line ready to fire when- Yeah, oh, <laughs> Kermit's preloaded. <laughs> all, Kermit's, all I'm waiting for him is just go, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, goes mm, do it. <laughs> you should do it, you pussy. <laughs> He's like, feel your anger. <laughs> Strike yourself down. <laughs> All right. What's okay, the- sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Talk about a killer. Uh, three, let's, let's initiate the scene. Three, two, one. Action. Oh, dude, I don't know what to do anymore. I got the news ready to go. I'll hang myself up the back of the space there. Jackson. Right? To feel your destiny. I, I'm about to feel that motherfucker. I'm about to hammer myself by news. I don't know what you're, what you're saying my destiny do, is, baby. Do you feel that anger? It's, 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 it's less anger, more like I will kill myself. I've been trying to explain this to you about three times now, and I'm going to be honest, motherfucker. I don't know who you are, um, <laughs> and I, you, you ain't really helping me out in this situation. I have baby. one piece of advice for you, Jackson. I'll give it to him, baby. Do it. No word. You convinced me, baby. <laughs> and then um, someone needs to ask if, if Kermit has an opinion. My the one, Kermit. <laughs> Do you have an opinion what on is the matter? What does his little grey motherfucker about to say? I, w- <laughs> I will now bring it to the Senate. It's not easy being green. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, so now and uh, now so they need to exit, right? They yes, uh, they Kermit did. and Palpatine take their exit. Y'all motherfuckers uh, need to get out of the room. I'm about to hear myself. I can't do it while people watching me. I will let me, you <coughs> fulfill your destiny. Thank you very much, baby. By yourself. Yep. And then, and then, yeah, I think he wants you to actually physically get up and leave. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm just trying to work out a cool exit line for. Palpatine. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, so I don't know much about Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he fucking zapped you, dude. You're hey, dead. Hey, hey, hey. I just want to take another look at you. <laughs> <laughs> and see. Oh, my God. Well done. Oh, well done. The one thing I did want to say about the insecurity thing is that if no, if you have an insecurity and no one ever says anything about it, 
then it must be bad. Know. They know they don't want to hurt your yeah. feelings. Yeah, and that's, that's why, why I always that's think why I haven't said anything. I don't know. I, I think my biggest insecurity is my uh, after touring, it's my <sighs> snoring. No, because yeah. I thought didn't Mate, I? Mean, I'll hook you up with a vibrator. Sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> didn't I? You said earlier that. No, I, no, no. Let's talk about what I said earlier. I want to talk about that on the show. No, what, the, I nuked your. No, nah, uh, yeah. Let's not talk about it. Shut the fuck you up, You don't both want of you. to talk about that? Nah, I'd rather have people talk about the snoring. So, so that's not your biggest insecurity? Yeah, for, the show, <laughs> for the show, it's the snoring. Oh, no, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. What? Snoring. Because that is my actual deepest what insecurity. Don't worry, guys. When you see Tyler at the show, it'll be super obvious. <laughs> 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 He's left. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!